Hey guys, uh, Marcus Crawford, otherwise known on my YouTube channel as Idaho Sledhead. This video is an introduction to the uh, Hubson Zeno drone, little uh, quick little uh, unboxing, and we'll do a flight uh, with it tomorrow and do another video. Uh, but uh, I wanted to point out that I am uh, making this video on the little guy you see in the picture here, the uh, Osmo Pocket. Uh, it's the first time I've done anything with it, so you'll see a little weird uh, camera work in this video, but uh, I hope you'll uh, uh, let me get away with that uh, this time. Uh, in any case, uh, the Hubson Zeno <coughs> is uh, a drone that, uh, you know, some people are trying to compare uh, with the... Uh, uh, you know, some of the DJI Mavic products, you know, the Mavic Air or even the Mavic Pro. Uh, it is not that. This is, uh, I think, Hudson's first uh, crack at a, at a serious hobby drone, you know, going from toy drones to a serious hobby drone. Uh, it's got a pretty good camera on it. It's got a 4K camera uh, with a 3-axis three, uh, three gimbal. Uh, so those are significant upgrades from what we've seen with them in the past. Uh, so it's, uh, I, th I think it was worth a try. I actually purchased this on their Indiegogo campaign. I got it for $299. It's $369 on the Hubson website. Uh, they were offering a $50 discount, I think, at first. Uh, the, the thing that I think is important to note here is that uh, this is probably a product uh, that somebody can start out with and uh, get into the hobby and have a serious drone that's going to take some do some really good video up to 4k video uh, and some good photography and a nice solid GPS drone that's going to fly well uh, with decent range as well so uh, in any case, this is just an unboxing. As you will see, uh, I work with got was trying to connect uh, the remote control with the drone and the camera with the remote control. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I don't know how I finally got it done. I I messed around. I followed their instructions, uh, and it didn't seem to work. Uh, I I turned it on then. The next time I had almost given up, I turned it on again, and all of a sudden everything connected right up. So uh, I don't know what I did right or wrong, honestly, uh, but uh, but I do know that it's uh, that it's working now. And tomorrow we'll get it out and we'll try uh, see how well it, the bird flies. Uh, it's got a lot of uh, intelligent flight modes and some other things on it. I don't know if we'll get to try them all tomorrow, but we'll uh, certainly do some of them. Uh, but in any case. Uh, let's uh, get this uh, video going and uh, get this thing out of the box. I'll, I'll show you all that. And uh, there we are. Okay, this is the box. Uh, you know, like any brown box, it's uh, got Hubson on the side with their, uh, with their address on there. So uh, that doesn't tell us much. But uh, it is uh, fairly substantial. It's uh, heavier box than what I've seen in some of the toy drones that I've ordered. So uh, let me slice it open and we'll see what's inside. Okay, there she is, the Hubson Zeno. Let's uh, let's get that box open. Okay, uh, kind of an interesting box. Got a carrying handle uh, on the side there. Uh, I like that a little better than uh, some of them, so it looks fairly robust and it looks like it's uh, a, a quality uh, packaging, which is always a good sign. Uh, different than what I've seen in other Hubson products, more of the toy grade stuff. Okay, I broke the seal on the side, so let's open her up. Uh, Ta-da, there it is. Uh, so, looks like the drone itself, uh, uh, sitting inside a, uh, a, a protected area there uh, with some cardboard to hold it down, and then obviously this box says remote control, so... I presume that's what it is. Uh, the box that says spare parts, I presume that's probably uh, charger and uh, extra uh, props and so forth. So uh, I'll get all this out of the box. I, uh, I won't make you sit through all that. And uh, we'll take a look at everything that's in there. Uh, 
Oh, this is kind of interesting here. I just saw this. It says, we fly with your dreams. Okay, that's good. Let's hope it lives up to that promise. Okie dokie. This is everything that was in the box. So uh, you have the uh, the drone itself. Uh, that's uh, this fairly substantial. Uh, you know, it's it's got some weight to it. Uh, more like uh, what I'm used to with a DJI product. Uh, uh, does not have a toy drone uh, feeling to it. Uh, feels pretty darn good. Uh, and then, of course, uh, the remote control. Uh, yeah, you know, looks like a uh, looks like a typical drone remote control. Uh, so uh, then, <clears throat> of course, uh, there is documentation. Uh, the charging equipment. So looks like you've got uh, a, a transformer there that uh, plugs into this uh, balance uh, uh, charger, uh, part of the charger adapter for uh, for charging the battery. And then, of course, a uh, uh, USB connector for when you're doing uh, updates to your drone. And then this is the other part of the charger. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll have to look and see which of this. Yeah, I assume... Uh, this end is what uh, connects to the battery and the other end to this balance charger here. Yeah, that looks to definitely be the case. Uh, and then <clears throat> you also get the three connectors for whatever kind of phone you're using. I use an iPhone, so I'll use this iPhone connector. But uh, these also have the various uh, USB connectors that uh, Android phones use. And then finally, you get a bag of... Uh, spare props with some screws looks like you got to put the props together on those but uh, it does come with a, a little screwdriver uh, that goes with it okay there she is all spread out in all of her glory here let's uh, let's take a look Looks like some vents on the side there. Nothing much to look at on this side. Uh, of course, that is the battery on the back there. Uh, and then on this side is that uh, the SD card slot and the uh, USB-C slot for doing uh, updates, etc. Uh, so, yeah. So then the, the I should say, notice to note through that the arms uh, are well marked with... Uh, the uh, the A and B uh, slots on them, so that shows it's a B arm. Excuse me for the bad camera work. There it is. There's the A arm. Uh, and uh, anyway, that's the what the top of it looks like. You got some vents there. Uh, there's the power on and off button. Uh, let me uh, let me see if I can take that uh, gimbal cover off. Move it around here. Set the camera down. Yeah, there we go. It was just facing down, so uh, there. I hope you can see a good look at the camera there. I'm going to go ahead and pull that cover off. There we go. So yeah, it looks like that camera naturally wants to uh, face down when it's at rest. Uh, we'll get it charged up and fired up and take a closer look at that, but uh, looks pretty interesting. Uh, the cover here is typical of what we've seen with... Uh, with other drones, DJI products and stuff. So, turn around here, take a look at the battery. Stop the camera. Sorry, guys. Yeah, this. Uh, one of the things about this uh, this uh, uh, Osmo Pocket camera, it doesn't have a stable base, and uh, so it's just setting it down is not uh, uh, doesn't work very well because it's sure easy to knock it over. Anyway, here's the battery. Uh, you know, looks like a battery. Typical connections. Uh, doesn't appear to be a smart battery, so I think it's just a LiPo battery, and that's probably what that balance charger is for. Uh, yeah, what those numbers mean, I have no clue. Uh, but anyway, uh, well, we'll take a look inside the battery box there. Not much to see there. Looks like the battery is actually the bottom of the drone. We'll take a look at the uh, remote control now. Okay, here's that remote. Uh, I'm trying to hold the camera in one hand and uh, and manipulate the remote with the other, but this is a spring-loaded uh, carrier here for your phone. Uh, you know, nothing remarkable about the 
antenna. They just uh, pull up like that. Uh, but let's see, this is a little bit hard to read, but this is the power on button in the middle. Uh, it's white on white, so that's kind of difficult. You'd think they'd have made that a little easier. And this is uh, on the left side here is the return to home button. And what's this one on the right? Uh, that looks like a takeoff uh, button. So uh, that's the one I believe you double push to take off. And then it has a, a, a slider here for sport mode. It's in sport mode now or normal mode. Uh, so my understanding is I think both of those are, are GPS modes. Uh, and then uh, and then the typical lights here to tell you how, how much charge there is on the, uh, on the battery. Uh, so I don't know. Let me hit the button here. Let's see how much charge it has. Yeah, so, yeah, it's blinking, so I assume that's trying to connect. Uh, but anyway, let's turn it off. So I wonder if I quick press it, if that tells me the charge. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm i sure that those lights have to do with the charge. Once you connect it, they probably tell you how charged up the battery is. Uh but uh, but anyway, then uh, on the side here, you got the, uh, the the on the left side there. That uh, button is for taking a picture. Obviously, the thumb wheel there is for adjusting the uh, the gimbal, the camera up and down. And then in this corner, you got the uh, the button to push for uh, video photography. Uh, yeah, let's see here. Then I assume, yeah, okay. I don't know if you can see that down there. That appears to be the connection for the charger oh yeah and yeah, it looks like yeah there's there's two slots there so I assume one of those is now here's the connector for the phone uh, yeah the USB slot to so when you hook your uh, your your phone up to it now what those other two slots are, I don't know. I'm going to have to look into that and uh, and let you know. But two different slots there. Let me. Uh, I'm going to slide my iPhone on here so you can take a look at that and see what it looks like. Okay, I wanted to show you what the uh, what the what the uh, controller looks like with the phone on there. So uh, that's kind of it. Uh, I've got the Hubson app open, which obviously. Uh, I have to sign in and so forth to make that work. Uh, but that is, uh, you can see that is kind of how the uh, uh, connector uh, connects on the side of it. hope that's visible there. Uh, but anyway, uh, I think the next thing that I want to do is uh, check the firmware on this thing. So uh, I'll uh, get the thing going and I'll try and do a, a screen recording with my phone. So you can see, uh, I want to see if it's got the latest firmware on it. There's a little bit of controversy about that. Uh, some people are saying don't update it. Some people are saying, yeah, update it. So uh, I'm the kind of guy that I always update to whatever the latest firmware is. So I'm sure that's what I'll do. But uh, anyway, that's how it looks all connected up. Okay, looks like the first step is to power on the aircraft. We've done that. Next step is to... Uh, power on I they say the device I assume that remain means the remote control and connect to the phone so I'm going to do that I already got the remote control on uh, get the phone uh, connected up here that is done next step <clears throat> enter the settings tab and tap the controls tab <laughs> so all of a sudden we're connected here and I got to be honest with you folks I have no idea how that happened I I did uh, yeah it's asking me to do a compass calibration so uh, I guess I'll do that find aircraft to current device it's telling me now so uh, so we're going to do that 
Yeah, so I need to have it, uh, my phone close to the uh, aircraft, so I am well within, uh, very close to it, so we'll do that. Yeah, I don't know, it says we got good GPS accuracy, 12 satellites. Uh, you know, I got to tell you, I am not exactly sure how that connection happened, but it did. So uh, one of the things that I wanted to go into <coughs> was... Uh, take a look at the uh, firmware version. So uh, the uh, flight control firmware on here is uh, 1.0.42 and the current version is 0.44. So it looks like I'll have to do that. Uh, FPV firmware, uh, that is the camera. So 2.1, so it looks like that is up to date. Uh, gimbal version 3.0.2.0 and that is behind because it's point one is the latest one so uh, so I'll probably update that firmware and uh, and we'll go from there okie dokie so it looks like we're connected to the uh, drone and it uh, looks like we need to update the firmware uh, how that connection happened is kind of beyond me. I just, when I fired it up that last time, it was working. Now, I did do some things. Uh, I hooked the, uh, I used the cord to hook the controller directly to the drone. Uh, and it, but the instructions are not very clear about that. And it's different than what the video instructions online showed as well. Uh, but the at the end of the day, it's it's uh, it appears to be hooked up, and I did a compass calibration, and uh, it seems to be working. I do need to update the firmware, uh, so I'm going to do that, and then the next step is uh, we'll get it out and uh, see if we can fly it. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, I there's parts of this that I know are not going to be very helpful, uh, but I'm just showing you what my experience has been with the uh, Hubson Zeno drone. Uh, for now, until we get it out to fly, this is Marcus Crawford, otherwise known as Idaho Sledhead on my YouTube channel, out. Thank you so much for watching.